Anya from Cooking with Plants and today I'm doing another holiday recipe. So it is stuffed eggplant that would be perfect to serve for your Christmas dinner or Christmas lunch. So let's get started. For this recipe I've got one pretty large eggplant that I've actually hollowed out and I'm using one serve of the stuffing that I made recently, the no cook stuffing. So you can find that on my website at cookingwithplants.com. I'll also link to that below so you can print out that recipe. To this, I'm adding one tin of drained cannellini beans. You could also use some chickpeas or even some walnuts if you wanted some extra crunch and something a little bit different there. And then just combine those together, give them a good mix through So while you're preparing this recipe, get your oven started, preheat it to 200 degrees Celsius or about 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And also line a baking dish with some nonstick parchment paper. This will allow you to cook without oil and it makes it really simple to clean up at the end because you just throw out this lining. So grab your eggplant and start to put this stuffing in there. Just keep pushing that in until it's all firmly pushed in and you start to see it coming out at the other end. And just hold, hold your hand flat with the side that's holding the eggplant to make sure it doesn't ooze out at the other side. Depending on the size of your eggplant, if you do have some leftover mixture. You could also put it into some mushrooms and bake those up, or you could fill some bell peppers. Lots of different options that you can use it for. Okay, and into the baking tray and into the oven for about half an hour to 40 minutes until it's nicely cooked. Ooh, so this has been cooking for about half an hour or so and it smells absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to having this for my lunch. And just as an alternative option, you can also slice this and bake it sliced. And I hope that you make this and enjoy it with your family as well. Serve it with some gravy or even the um, tomato onion relish that I made a few recipes ago for this festive season. So Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I hope you enjoy this recipe. I look forward to your photos on Instagram and Facebook, and I look forward to seeing you soon for the next recipe. Bye for now.